Hi, this is Kara, and this is DIY on the house. Today you get to pick up your crochet hook again, and I am going to show you how to make this dish towel slash dish cloth, depending on how big you make it. The cool thing about this project is there is no pattern. It takes three stitches and it's up to you of how you rotate those stitches. We alternate them randomly and it makes a fantastic effect. So let's get started and I'll show you what we need to do. I am super excited about this dishcloth because there is no pattern and there is no rules and it just makes a really fun dishcloth. Uh, for this one, I am using the Sugars and Cream cotton thread. Um, it needs a, a full ball of it. Um, and I use a size H crochet hook. You can use G, H, I, just a medium size crochet hook. But as always, you need to start with a slip knot. So I just wrap the thread around my index finger and thumb and then I just uh, turn it and twist it and draw up the crochet thread to make a slip knot. And so on this one we are going to chain 40 chains across and on a chain you um, simply wrap it over your hook and draw it through the loop that is on the hook. So uh, wrap it over, draw it through. There's one. Drop it over, draw it through. Wrap it over, draw it through. So you do that for 40 chains across. And when you're done, it's really important to count your chains. And that you do it, you count at the end of every row as well. So here is a diagram of what um, it looks like to count your chains. And um, it's uh, it can be any width. I'm just choosing 40 on this one. The cool thing about this pattern is there are no rules. We are going to do a combination of single crochets, half double crochets, and double crochets in whatever order you want. And so we're we'll always start with the second chain from the hook and I'm going to start with a single crochet which is just you put it in and you draw it up. You do not draw your thread over first. And so the next stitch that I'm going to do, I am going to do a half double crochet. So you draw it over or you loop over your yarn first before you put it into your stitch and then you draw up your thread and you loop it over again and you draw through all three loops on your hook. Again, we're going to do another half double crochet because there are no rules on what order you do in these. So a half double crochet, put it over the hook first, draw it through, and draw it through all three on the hook. And so now I'm going to do a double crochet. And so a double crochet is really similar to the half, but you put it over first, you stick it through the, the stitch, draw it through. Now you draw it through only two of the loops on the hook. You draw over your thread again, and then you're going to draw through the remaining two uh, hoops or loops on the hook. Now I'm going to do a single crochet, and that is you just put it in and draw it through the two loops. And um, how about another double crochet? We're going to put it over the the hoop or the hook first, and we're going to do a double crochet. Again, there are no rules on what order it is. It's just when you get down to the end, we need to have 39 stitches on this row. So I'm going to continue across in just random order of the combination of the three different stitches. So here's what it looks like at the end of my first row. It is just a random uh, uh, row that gives it a super super cool texture but it is important we need to count every row from here on has to have 39 stitches we chained 40 but when you um, when we turned and we went in the second chain from the hook that now makes 39 stitches all the way across. So take a pointer and count all, count your stitches and make sure that you have 39 at this point. 
And then when you get to that end one, that um, second chain from the hook, that is your 39th stitch. So when you count across, go 38, that last one is 39. So before you start your second row, we want to feed back in your tail into the top of the row you just finished. So you just take your tail, take your hook, and uh, just feed it through the top stitches of that uh, row. And that way you're just hiding your tail so that you, when you go on to your second row that it is hidden. And so when you do each row from here on out, if you're going to do a double crochet or a half double crochet, we start every row with two chains. If you're going to start with a single crochet, you are going to start with one chain at the beginning of the row. So here is the project we have it right now so that you can get a visual of when I say it's random, it is truly random. Look at the, the fun texture that this uh, uh, dishcloth has because you are um, doing random. And of course, it, um, everyone's going to look a little different because there are no rules. So we're going to get ready and we're going to put a border on this which will frame it up really nice. So I'm going to do a border of double crochets all the way across and uh, that will just give it a nice um, frame for a really, really cool pattern. So to start your border, you are at the end of your row the, that you just completed and um, you're going to go back the other direction. So you're going to start by chaining two and then you're going to turn your project and return going back the other direction. But now we are going to do continuous double crochets all the way across the row that you just finished. And so you're going to continue this across until you get to the corner and at the corner we need to pause and we will be putting three double crochets in the corner so that you can make a flat uh, project and go down the side of the row. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put three double crochets here. So there's one, two, and three and then you turn and you put a double crochet in each row all the way down the side. When you get to the corner, again, you put three double crochets in each corner. But when you're going down the side, you just put a double crochet in the end of each row. Okay, so here is what it looks like so far. We've went almost all the way around. And when you get down to the end, this last corner, it still needs to have three double crochets in it. It started with one um, for your beginning row, but we need to add two more double crochets in the corner. So there's number two and there's number three. And then we need to join the top of each stitch with just a slip stitch. So you put in your hook into the top of the row previous and you draw up a slip stitch. Once you've snipped your thread, you just pull the um, thread through and that creates a knot and then again we hide the tail through the, the stitching um, of the, the row on each side. You uh, turn your pattern and you hide it in a, another direction. Uh, just going back and forth just to make sure you have hidden your tail and make it nice and secure. Okay, I'm finishing off that. That's funny, this is all the more yarn that is left after that one ball of sugars and cream. And so at this point, go ahead and trim your threads off and enjoy this really adorable, just absolutely adorable dishcloth. I love the way the textures are different. It gives it a different look. It doesn't look like a typical row after row dishcloth. Uh, the, the border on it is just fantastic. So I really am excited of how this pattern turned out. I hope you really enjoyed today's project. If you have any questions, please comment down below. As always, subscribe. Give us the thumbs up and thank you so very much for joining DIY on the house.